In an effort to celebrate Black History Month, the America East Conference is honoring one African-American alumni from each of its nine institutions. In this segment, University at Albany grad William Thomas talks about being Maryland Teacher of the Year in 2009. Well, it's a great honor, uh, I would say, because, uh, you know, we've had a lot of great people come through the university, and I've had the honor to meet some, uh, particularly since my opportunity of gaining the Teacher of the Year Award. And so it's an honor to be considered, you know, amongst the elite group of, you know, distinguished people who have made themselves successful throughout uh, the course of the academic years of the school, so I am honored. I think that, uh, it, I think it, it reflects our preparation and training that we received at the University of Albany. Um, I always praise Albany because it, it was a great school, it was a great experience for me from freshman year all the way through senior year, and uh, I think the education that I received there most certainly prepared me to enter the field of education uh, and you know I'm, I'm very proud first of all to say that I'm, I'm an Albany grad, Albany alum uh, and you know we, we talk about it all the time my wife and I and you know the fact that we both were considered for the recognition I think it's just it shows the the reputable state of uh, the education program at Albany. Well I, I would say what originally drew me to teaching was the content. I fell in love with history in high school, and so I wanted to find a way to sort of continue that, that passion for history, and I, I found that in teaching. But once I became a teacher, I, I quickly realized that the real passion was in interacting with the students. And, you know, you know content aside, you know, just having those short conversations with students, just laughing with the students, um, you know, answering their questions. And, and it's so interesting how they have so many questions, not even about the content, but it's just about life. And to be able to impact them on a daily basis and, and to say, hey, look, you know, one day you will also be a professional. And one day, you know, you will be a teacher, a lawyer, a doctor, you know, an accountant, whatever your field is. And, and so, start that path now. To be able to say that and, and, and stress it every day I think is, is tremendous and that, that is where I have found my passion in education. Oh wow. Well, you know, I will have to say that my biggest influence would have to be none other than my current wife. My wife who is also a teacher at uh, my same school here, Dr. Henry Wise, she was an uh, undergrad a uh, year ahead of me when I was at the University of Albany and uh, she inspired me and she taught me a lot of things that I needed to know about teaching and we both made it a team effort and we've been teaching together ever since then. Okay, yeah, clearly uh, there's no secret there's been a major need particularly for black males in the classroom and, and that's why I'm very proud to, to be a black male in the classroom uh, inspiring students and I know the impact because I've seen it that uh, uh, teachers can have on students as role models. You know, all teachers, regardless of race or gender, you know, can reach students. But at the same time, it is so very important for the students to see themselves, you know, in front of the classroom, at least, you know, on occasion. And so the numbers definitely need to be improved. And I think what we can do um, is encouraging the, our current population of students in high school and train them, recruit them to get on the track that will lead them to uh, pursue the educational field. Uh, and I think, you know, that will make a difference in the immediate five years or so, but down the line you will start to see a significant increase in the number of black males in the classroom. The earning the award was, it, I have to say it was a humbling experience for several reasons. Number one, even in my current building, Dr. Henry Wise High School, there are a lot of great, great teachers. Uh, teachers that are, are far better than you know what I'm doing and teachers that I look at and say okay I need to model some of their practices um, but at the same time I realized that someone had to be selected and so I humbly accept the recognition but I, I also perceive it to be as a representational role where I am simply representing all of the great teachers at Dr. Henry Wise in Prince George County in the state of Maryland um, because, as you know, uh, Maryland has been ranked once again as the top, you know, state for education, and so 
I would say it's, it's, a, it's a tremendous honor to be able to represent an, a, a group of teachers who have made that happen across the state. You know, I don't, I don't harp on it every year. <laughs> it's been a couple of years now since uh, we yeah. were able to make the trip to the White House. But in that first year, it was a, it was a big deal, and the, and the kids were really excited about it. When I came back, you know, I was fortunate enough to be able to show them the pictures. They had a lot of questions, you know, just about what he's like. And I, I honestly, I didn't have much time to interact with him. But they were just amazed that I was able to shake his hand and be there, you know, for the, the program. Um, and in general, as a government teacher, I just find, well, I find everyday politics to be such an asset in, in what I'm teaching. And particularly having an African-American president, it's not that the students were disengaged prior to President Obama being elected, but it definitely piques their curiosity. For example, we were just talking about the State of the Union address, which is taking place this evening. And, and you know, it, it definitely makes them more intrigued because they can relate. And I always find it fascinating how when the students can relate to something, they learn much more effectively about that topic. And so that's what we try and do in every topic, not only government, but you have to find something that you can connect the students to. So they can say, okay, here's why I'm learning this and this is how it's going to benefit me. Do it. The advice that I would give any person who is interested in, in doing uh, this career is first off, it is the best career that you can choose. Uh, I knew from the time I entered the education program at the University of Albany that this is what I want to do with my life. It is very rewarding. It's a very, very hard job, so you have to be prepared for that. But at the same time, it is it's so tremendously rewarding because every day you get to see the small growth of the students that you are impacting. And, and it's a lot of fun, too. And so I would, I would definitely encourage them to do it. Um, find out early in your you know, collegiate career what exactly it takes to become a teacher, what tests you have to complete, um, you know, what uh, certifications you have to acquire, and, and, and organize yourself from freshman year, sophomore year, so that once you have graduated, you can be all well on your way.